we're gonna go for a full day to the movie to see uh, the Duomo and Michelangelo's David. We're gonna have lunch. Uh, we're gonna go touring the city. It's beautiful. It rained all day yesterday, so it's nice to have a nice, warm day and a nice casual stroll. And we gotta get out of the way. <laughs> Yeah, just strolling along with their tour guide. It's all, it's all right over here. And uh, it's gonna be a good day today. Let's see what we get into. Here, maybe? Uh oh, and now we are lost. Taking pictures. Uh oh, taking pictures, and now we are gone. Let's see, is it down here or straight ahead or to the right? And we are following our tour guide for our private tour on the inside. She's giving us a lot of history, a lot of rich information.
Korean can look. Sculptures, sculptures, sculptures. My goodness. tickets to go to see Michelangelo's David so I highly suggest buying any kind of ticket um, in advance oh, so I highly suggest buying any kind of ticket online in advance because we are fully down the street and wrapping around so we got part of a group tour so we got express entry and it's beautiful we just went straight in didn't even wait two seconds but as you can see this line wraps all the way around that thing on top of our church is what we call the wall. Next, where we are going next. The artists, and on their right, it's like a San Vittorio. They used to live in the district of the church, as we saw them, they are born. On the left, the last man is a famous stories known as bronze that depict stories from the world. The building in the Avec, as I was saying before, David speaks for the Republican dream, a dream which is over in 1531 with the arrival of the gentleman of Wolfsburg, Cosimo, first and Duke of Tuscany, of the side branch of the Medici. He sweeps away the Florentine Republic, he unifies Tuscany to hang it out to his elder son Francesco, second Grand Duke of Tuscany, and there will be for the next So a lot of shopping on this square. Of course there's a Chanel, kind of high end, and restaurants too. Let's not get lost like last time. Last time we had to catch up and miss the leather making, but no, we're keeping up with the tour guide today, right now. And as we continue the walking tour, the square on the left and right are statues dedicated to the men who helped build uh, this region. And while you're here, you may see some armed guards. Same thing in Rome. But don't worry, they are here to protect against terrorism, and they are not out to shoot anybody. 
Avec la and let's say our terrorists trying to destroy the ancient city. There's the market to leave the bridge and the orders, the goldsmith to leave, to, to move their business onto the bridge. The workshop of the jewel of the jewel artisans of the goldsmith. Today, the store, the shops were only buy precious jewels. Lady Seven and Jan's Hell, as I've renamed it, for the Florentine Bridge. And that concludes our tour. We're gonna head back on the bus. <laughs> if you notice, throughout the whole time we had these earpieces in. She spoke. Our guide spoke to us, so we can hear her throughout the crowds. And that was a really nice touch. I mean, she also told the fan of so we wouldn't get lost. And Marcy loved her some Florence. It's so beautiful. We took a peek over at the side. There's a canal over there. We're going to Dar Poet to have more pizza. And I got the buffalo pizza with the buffalo, the buffalo mozzarella, tomatoes, and I added a pancetta and fresh basil. And Marcy got the same thing, but she added the spice pepper. Yummy. Now we're going One more gelato place. We had a full day today traveling to Florence and the highlight had to have been seeing Michelangelo's David in person. Amazing to see up close and personal. On the drive back, I didn't film it out of respect to the driver, you know, but as he was driving us back from Florence, it's a couple hour, maybe about like a three hour, two to three hour uh, bus trip back. There was a fly that got in his way, so he opened up the bus window next to him, which is slightly below a seat, to wave the fly out. That was a distraction. His wallet flew out the door, and we had to stop on the highway, and he found it. But unfortunately, all the cards and stuff had been mowed over by cars. So we felt really bad for him. Um, but he was able to get everyone back on time and take care of himself, too, which is nice. So... Man, that must suck to have your wallet fly out the window on a major highway. And you're a bus driver. And, right, and you're a bus driver with a busload of people. That's, I mean, that's got to be embarrassing. So I felt bad for him. But he handled it like a champ. And so after that, we came back to our hotel. And of course, where else to eat but Chastevre? We went back to Dar Poete, uh, Dar Poeta to have... More pizza. I had the buffalo pizza, as you guys saw. You already saw my pizza. Then we got more ice cream at a different uh, gelato place. Not as good as um, Giolotti, but I'd say, you know, it's a good second. And here we are now, just getting ready to wind down. I'm going to go take a shower, go to bed. Y'all know the drill. Tomorrow is our last official day in Rome, and I'm excited because... We get to do the activity I've been wanting to do the whole time, which is go to a cooking class. And we're supposed to go to the markets. I think it's going to rain in the afternoon, so if we can go to the cooking to get stuff in the markets to cook with before then, that would be great. So we have a cooking lesson. We're also going to go to the Coliseum and just, you know, go around shopping. It's the last day, so we have to get all our kicks in. Probably have more gelato, more food, pretty much. More food, more gelato and um, enjoy our last day here. So, thanks y'all for watching. It's time to go to bed. We've been walking for miles, my arm hurts. So, it's time to call it a night. Bye y'all.